I want to show you guys how I like to build UI components in Rails without the need for any third-party gems. We're going to accomplish this by using helpers, models, and views. The component we're going to build in this example is this calendar. We show the month and year in the header. We have pagination to jump between months. Select today to jump back to the current month. All these calendar cells are links with indicators that show if a journal entry was written on that day. We can click on one of these links to show the journal entries written on that day. This calendar is based off one of the Tailwind UI components. So the purpose of this video is less about how to build the calendar with HTML and CSS and more about how you can use models and helpers to support views in a Rails application. In this example, we'll create five files. The calendar model is going to be the engine that drives this component. Let's build this calendar model. Notice we're not inheriting from application record. That is to say, there isn't a calendar object we're storing in the database. This is going to be a plain old Ruby object, but the calendar is a domain model in our application nonetheless. We'll set up month, year, cells, and journal as read attributes. We'll define an inner class for the calendar cell. Each cell has a date and the number of journal entries written on that day. We'll use the calendar cell entry count for the journal entry indicators on the calendar UI. Next, we'll create the constructor for the calendar itself. A new calendar will take a journal, month, year, and a selected day, which will be used to determine if a specific day is selected on the calendar. The next thing we'll do is initialize the calendar cells. We'll add an option to filter journal entries by user. First, we're gonna get the calendar date range. For any given month, we need to look at the previous and next month in order to make a perfectly rectangular grid. Once we've got that, we can count our journal entries by date and use our date range to build our calendar cells. Now we can go into our entries controller and make our calendar object available in our views. Our calendar component is going to be rendered by the entries controller. So we'll create an entries helper to supplement our calendar view. Since the calendar component is rather complex, we're going to compose our calendar from three separate partials. So we'll start with our calendar partial, which will be the topmost partial on this calendar. I'll use helper methods to render out the datetime string on the time element and the month and year in the calendar header. We'll define our entries helper and implement the two methods we are using in our views. Then we'll render out the partials to complete our calendar component. The next thing we'll do is build the calendar navigation. For this, I'm gonna define two helpers to get the journal entries path for the next and previous month. Next, we'll implement the calendar grid. Here, we'll render out the calendar cells, creating links to filter out journal entries by day. The conditions by which we generate the calendar cell class names are a bit involved, so we'll use another helper to generate the calendar cell class names. As you can see, there's not hard and fast rules on whether you should extract some logic into a view helper. For simple if else statements or for loops, I'll usually put that logic directly in the view. It's not until the logic gets more involved that I'll extract that logic into a view helper. And with that, you can see our calendar component is now working as expected. So hopefully this gives you some perspective on how you can use models and helpers to supplement your views. Let me know in the comments how you like to build your view layers in a Rails application. Till then, I'll see you in the next one.